Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today guys here we are for another AFL 2022 season review and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Western Bulldogs 2022 AFL season. Now of course we're going to be recapping over the same stuff but of course before we start I, just, I do just want to let you know about the order of elimination. So Richmond were eliminated on the first Thursday night of September. Meanwhile the Dogs were eliminated on the sat on the first Saturday night of September causing them to be eliminated later, which means they will get a higher spot in the season review ranking, which means that even though they finish 8th on the ladder, they will finish 7th in this series because of the order of elimination. So, of course, same things, recapping the season and the ladder position. So, the ladder position after round 23 and the final ladder position that I've given them based on the order of elimination, as I just spoke about, so they finish uh, Eighth in the regular after round 23, but then of course they were the second team to be eliminated, so of course that will bump them up to seventh. Highlights best win, good players, low lights, worst loss. What's the next trade period and coach they do have? They have had some really big moves coming up in this trade period and recap and the final words. So the Western Bulldogs finished eighth in, two, in 2022 in the regular season with 12 and 10, but of course after. Uh, the Tigers got eliminated first. They were the second team to be eliminated, causing them to finish seventh in this ranking. So grand final rematch opened up the season on a Wednesday night at the MCG where the Demons got the Chocolates by 26 points in the end. Uh, the Blues got over the Dogs by 12 in a really good game with the Blues. And the Dogs both did show fights. However, the Western Bulldogs extremely disappointing, mounting a last quarter comeback to lose by 12, but still extremely disappointing from a Dogs point of view. Then a win over Sydney. They were very inaccurate in this game, but they got the job done. And then inaccuracy did cost them against the Tigers to lose by 38. Really solid win over the Kangaroos by 68 points after blowing them away in that second half. And then a poor loss to the Adelaide Crows. One of their worst losses of the season at Mars Stadium. A game they were tipped, to, tipped not to just win, but to smash the Crows. And, and they lost to a, the Crows, which aren't really a great side. But the Crows, full praise to them. They put up br a brilliant effort and brilliant fight. And that was something they've done really well over 2022. And then just another really uh, decent bounce back win against the Bombers by 32 points. Not really a lot to say, just a good win. A very disappointing loss on a Friday night against Port Adelaide. Had the perfect chance to bounce back in that game. Well, not to bounce back, but just, again, get themselves on a bit of a trot with winning, but no, and, and really show they were top eight side. But again, they just couldn't quite do that on that occasion. And then... A pretty solid win over the Pies, another solid win over the Suns, and then a belting over the Eagles in Perth. 101 points, massive, massive, massive win for them. 101 points, big win. And then a disappointing loss to the Cats. A uh, very solid win against the Giants by 20 points. They won the highest scoring games of the season, and they put up a really good performance in that game and had... Some really good highlights. But again, though, they, they scored heavily, but they did give up another big score to a not-so-great side. Uh, comfortable win over the Hawks. And then they got destroyed by the Lions in the end and destroyed by the Swans. Then they comfortably got back against the Saints. And in their best win of the season, arguably, they got over the Demons by 10 points at Marvel. But again, the thing with the Western Bulldogs this year is if they've scored big, they've given up a big score as well. And the same was in this case. They don't really want to defend, and they won by 10 points against the Demons in a really good performance. They lost to the Cats by 28 at um, GMHBA, and then they lost to the Dockers by 17 points, but it felt more like seven, it felt more like um, 30 points than 17. They just got absolutely destroyed by the Dockers. And then a comfortable win over the... Well, not, not a very uncomfortable win over the Giants by five points. And then in round 23, they did enough to seal... Uh, the final spot, beating the Hawks by 23 points. And then giving up a 41-point lead in the West in the first eliminate in the, in the second elimination final to walk out of the competition in disappointing fashion. Now, they did have some horrendous losses over the season, did the Western Bulldogs. Um, put quite a poor defensive side, and, and uh, that, that's something they do need to get structurally better at. The Dockers was was their worst loss. They gave up 41-point lead and lost. So that was their worst loss. They did 
have a couple of other bad losses as well. Now, I'm going to say one of those bad losses was against Sydney and Brisbane as well. Like, really poor losses there. They, they showed really nothing in those games. And then another poor loss, as I said, was up against Adelaide at Mars. A game they were really tipped to do well in or try and win. And, yeah, they, they just... It didn't show anything in that game. And best win of the year, it was undoubtedly really easy to pick this one. It was the win against the Demons. Now, they, they just were so good in this game. And, of course, their 101-point smashing of West Coast as well. That was another really good win for them too. But I am still picking um, the Demons over the Eagles just because of the grand final rematch. The stakes were high. A bounce back was needed. And that is exactly what they did. So now to the trade table, we go for the Western Bulldogs, and they are going to have to give up a lot, and yes, a lot, in order to get Rory Lobb through the door from the West, uh, from the Fremantle Dockers to their club. I don't think that this deal's getting done. It probably will end up getting done, but geez, the, the way the Dockers are making this quite hard is going to be very hard for him to get to the Western Bulldogs. Surely it's got to happen, though, you say, because he wanted out last year to the Giants. This year he wants out to the Bulldogs. He's got family plans in Melbourne. So I feel like this has to simply go. Like, simply this year has has to work. And if it's not this year, then he'll be walking out the door next year for sure. So he's got to go this year, I reckon. I reckon the, the, there's no point holding on to him anymore from the Dockers. Maybe they just need a bit of a, just a quick little rebuild in that forward line. And then they'll be right to go because the, the Dockers forward line isn't that great. The dogs' forward line is 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 all right though, but yeah, I think Rory Lobb to the dogs would be a perfect addition for them. Now Zane Cordy being rumored to St Kilda. Now this has been quite a new rumor, so whether this one goes through or not, maybe it's a free agency deal though, so it has to be done pretty quickly. But again, though that could most certainly happen as well. Now Liam Jones back to where he started his career at the Western Bulldogs. Liam Jones returns to the Western Bulldogs. Uh, he's going to be really important for key defender stocks. Now, they have one of key defenders, the Western Bulldogs. They lack to want to defend this year. Has let them down in some matches. And, and yeah, this is going to be a massive inclusion for them this um, in 2023. They're going to absolutely love his services at the Western Bulldogs in 2023. But, yes, I reckon the Western Bulldogs do remain mostly look out for Lob and how that deal will get done. That's what they're kind of keeping their attention on. They're going to have to offer a lot more than just like a third round pick to get the deal done. It's going to be a high asking price from the Dockers. I think the Dockers will want a first round pick and I feel like this one's going to be a stalemate. I do not think the Dogs will not part with the first round pick for Rory Lobb. That's not going to happen. So I reckon it's going to have to be one team or the other that's going to have to come to a negotiation whether A, Lobb stays at Dockers B, the dogs give a third round, a, fir a first round pick, or C, nothing happens. Like, just nothing happens, and, and talks just do not progress, and then the deal is almost abandoned in a like of that. So, the Western Bulldogs do have a big upcoming trade period next year if they want to try and give finals another crack. But yes, defensive stocks is going to be what the Western Bulldogs want. So, that's going to wrap it up. A seventh finish for the Western Bulldogs in 2022 after the finals. An eighth place ladder position finish. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys in another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye everyone. Flaming for you out.